Lesson 1.2A1, Approaches to Measuring GDP, the Aggregate Expenditure Approach. The main concept we want to explore is that for a country, the value of its total production has to be equal to the value of its total expenditure and also equal to the value of its total income. One approach to measure GDP is the total expenditure or aggregate expenditure approach. Y or GDP reflects how much we produce as a country within a year or within a month. Y is equal to national product, or we can think of this as total supply. In 2011, Canada produced around $1.6, $1.7 trillion worth of goods and services. Why did Canadian firms produce that much amount of goods and services? Because people buy. Total expenditure or aggregate expenditure. Aggregate expenditure or national expenditure, we can think of this as the demand side. Towards the end in equilibrium, supply is equal to demand. Who do the buying of that $1.6, $1.7 trillion worth of goods and services? Four different types of people. The first one is consumers, private consumers like you and myself. Second type is investment, which means Canadian firms also need to buy goods and services before they can produce goods and services. For example, Concordia needs to buy, build this building, rent the building, or buy some printers, papers in order to teach a class. Government expenditure will be the public side. They build roads, hospitals. Net exports refer to exports minus imports. Exports refer to what we sell abroad, made by Canadian firms, but we sell it to foreigners. Imports mean whatever that we import from other countries that are not produced here. Let's look at the first component, consumption. Consumption expenditure would be what households or private people, such as you and myself, would spend on buying goods and services. What kind of goods and services? For example, food, shelter or rent, mortgage, clothing, and so on. These goods and services may be produced within Canada or it could be imported from abroad. Over the past 10 to 20 years or so, consumption expenditure account for around 57, 58, 60% of GDP. So let's round it off to around 60%, which means Suppose in 2011, we produce around 1.6, 1.7 trillion dollars worth of goods and services. Canadian consumers, you and myself, bought up about 60% of this amount.